So I'm going to rub on this spot here and this spot over here a little bit, and then we'll see. I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, the top looks great. The top looks great. Yeah, you want to see it? Sure. Doesn't that look lovely? Mm -hmm. What do you think? 10, 12 hours since the last spray, including sanding? With all the sanding and buffing? Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's something I don't think people really appreciate is how much time goes into the finish after the finish is applied. Probably, certainly more time to actually finish the process than it is to actually apply the lacquer to the guitar. Oh yeah, yeah, spraying the lacquer. Well, the sunbursting part takes a while. But, right, right. But mostly spraying the lacquer is pretty minimal time compared to all of the sanding and buffing that goes on. Yep. So this is uh, post-polishing. Um, I took this to my shop and I used a series of wheels, real similar to the ones that we used to polish, um, well, they're exactly like the ones we used to polish the finish on the guitars itself, but they cleaned up quite nicely. So we'll be mounting this in just a little bit and putting some strings on it. Time to reassemble the guitar. So we're putting a new set of Waverly tuners on. I'm getting a little bite here, I think. Okay. So here we go, stringing up. Finally. How freaking exciting! I'll tell you. So the, the bridge and the nut are just roughly to the size we need them to be. We'll make some adjustments after the strings are on, get the, the height correct, and then I'll uh, refine the top of the bridge and the top of the nut. Oh, it sounds like a guitar. Yeah, that's a mile high right now. Yeah, it's but fine. that's okay. That's fine for starting. So the strings are on. Um, we still need to make the final adjustments on the height at the bridge and the nut. But I always like to let the guitars sit for about a day before doing that because there could be some settling that goes on on the soundboard or the neck might need a little bit more adjustment with the truss rod. So I'm not going to do those final slot adjustments just yet. One thing I can do right now though is to uh, adjust the nut slots. They're not going to be affected by any, any amount of settling that might go on at the body. So I'll get my files and just start tweaking these slots so that all of the strings are are just barely above the first fret when I push between the second and third fret. I'm looking for a clearance of about eight thousandths of an inch on the bass string and maybe six thousandths of an inch on the treble string. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
all of the string slots are adjusted on the nut, but some of the slots get pretty deep into the material. So I'm going to now sand off the top so that there's really only about half or maybe three quarters of the string down in the slot. Um, some of these, like on the treble strings, they are really buried right down in the bone and uh, it just doesn't look all that good and you're more likely to have catches like where you turn the tuner a little bit and nothing happens and then all of a sudden it changes pitch quite a bit. So I'll get rid of the excess material and then just buff this to a nice shine and glue it in place. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I can switch to a finer grit. This is 220 now. I will need 320. This is sold as bleached bone, but the bleach, whatever they do to bleach it, doesn't seem to be a, a very thorough process. So it actually is a, a pretty cool effect because you can see color variations in different parts of the bone. I kind of like that look. So this is done now, and I'll glue it in place. The pick guard's on, as you can see. Um, there's a pretty sturdy bracket that does most of the supporting. And then there's one little block that you can't see underneath here, and it's attached to the pick guard with a tiny screw. So that part's pretty well done. Uh, guitar's been strung up for four days and doesn't look like the top has settled at all, so that's good news. Now what I'm going to do is the final adjustments to the string height at the bridge. You won't see it in the video, but I just roughly cut those those notches um, before it got strung up so the strings aren't all quite even and they all wind up being a little high at the 12th fret so I will carefully notch out the bridge for the six strings and then once I get the height where I want it which is about a sixteenth of an inch off of the 12th fret on each of the strings. Then I'll take the bridge off and um, smooth it out, get rid of all the paint obviously, and polish it up. There it is. All done. That was a big project. It was. Then the last touch, um, this was the request of the customer. He wants us to put a label in it, just acknowledging that this guitar was, uh, that we did some work on it. So we'll glue that in through the treble F hole, and then we're done with it. Yep. Great project. Yeah, yeah. Well done.